Hey guys, Dr. Deuce back again with another great set of music tech tips for you. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to combine, stack or aggregate multiple audio interfaces to extend your input output options when working in Logic Pro X. Now this is really handy, especially if you've only got a two in two out audio interface and let's say you wanted to record some drums or you wanted to record a small band or maybe a vocal or string ensemble. By combining multiple audio interfaces together, they will all act as one large interface and you can record multi-tracks all at the same time. Now I'm going to be showing you how to do this for a typical small personal setup as well as a big setup such as an 8 in 8 out and you want to combine that with another 8 in 8 out giving you 16 ins and outs. I'll be showing you how to do both okay so let's get started. Okay so right here I've got a very typical example where you might need to extend your audio interface inputs and outputs. I've got this very simple arrangement and I want to record some live drums to it. So if we go to Logic Pro X preferences audio um, you can see I've got in here I've got the option of Scarlett 2i2 or the Line 6 tone port. Uh, but I don't have the option of combining them in Logic Pro. I can have one or the other. Now, if I want to record drums, typically want to have at least four mic channels set up for kick, snare, hats, and overheads. Well, actually six will be better, but I can get away with four. So what we're going to do now is combine the focus right with the line six audio interface and that will give us the additional ins and outs so we can record our drums. So the first step you've got to take is go to your finder and go in the top menu you go to go and then utilities. Now under utilities you want to look for the audio MIDI setup. Open that up. Now what we're going to do next is create an aggregated device. Over here you can see the audio ins and outs that the operating system has recognized. Here's my tone port and here's my Scarlett. In fact the tone port has got four ins but it's actually only got uh, two mic inputs and two line ins. So um, what we're going to do, we're going to combine these anyway. So we go down here, we click on this plus and we're going to go to create aggregate device. Okay. Now, this next bit is fairly important. What you do is you decide which of the two audio interfaces you want to have as the master and which one's gonna be the slave. Okay, which one's gonna come first in the chain and which is gonna come second. Now, I want the Scarlet to be first. Click on that and up here you can see Scarlet and here's all the inputs and output. Now, we've got the two devices connected. Inputs one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, like I said, the tone port has got two XLR inputs and two line inputs. Now, if I was to use a mic pre, I could hook up an extra two mics to these line inputs over here. But what's important is now we've got them combined. Next thing I'm gonna do is double click on this and I'm gonna call this Logic Combo. Okay. Now, the other thing to bear in mind is this drift tick. What we've got here is um, the Scarlet is sort of your master and the clock source, i.e. the the tone port will synchronize to the Scarlet. Now if as you're recording the program finds that um, the tone port is drifting out of sync, by having this ticked um, the software will correct any of that drift. Now let's go back to Logic and instantly Logic has scanned and it's found um, this new aggregate device. What we're going to do, we're going to hit don't use at this point. I mean, normally you would hit use, but I'm going to hit don't use so I can show you what's actually going on. So once again, we're going to go to Logic Pro X preferences audio and we've got the tone port selected this time automatically. We've got the Scarlet and here we now we've got the Logic combo. Now before I put it switch on the, the combo let's go back to the Scarlet and apply that. Okay. 
Now if I were to create a new audio track and I was to come here, come to the input output section, click here and go to input. I've got the option of input one or two. That's all I've got on Scarlet. Okay. However, if I was to go back up here, let's change this to the tone port and apply that. And now if I go to input, I've got one, two, three, four. Now, as I said, the tone port has got four ins, four outs. Let's go back in. And this time we're going to switch to the combo which we just created, the aggregate device. Click on that. If I was to go here, go to inputs, we have got up to six inputs. Okay, so Logic has now combined all six of the inputs from the two devices and it sees it as one device. This uh, next bit is important. Let's go back to our um, audio MIDI setup. The way in which Logic sees the inputs, keep this in mind, inputs one and two are on the Scarlet. Then three, four, five, six are on the tone port. So just keep that in mind. So when, when, you, when you're setting up your microphones, just remember that if we were to change this input to input three, that will be input one on the tone port and input six will be input four on the tone port. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, now I can create multiple tracks. So if I was to set this to one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I've got six channels to record my drums. Hopefully that makes sense. Now let's see how we do this on a bigger interface. 